what's up everybody it's tony aka natural boss welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be doing a product review and i'll be using the diva curl fragrance free product line i don't think i have the whole line i'm pretty positive i don't have the whole line but i have a few of the products and if you see my haul video i already um talked about what i purchased and so what i'm what i will be reviewing today is the diva curl fragrance free and hypoallergenic one condition original rich cream conditioner i will also be using the diva curl fragrance free and hypoallergenic everything that i use is fragrance free um by the way hypoallergenic super cream um it's the rich coconut infused definer it says for coarse curls and i'm actually kind of going to use this i don't think this would define my curl being that it's cream creams normally don't define my curls i'm actually going to kind of be using this as a styler slash moisturizer and then last i will be using the diva curl fragrance free and hypoallergenic ultra defining gel stronghold no crunch styler and so the only diva curl products that i've ever used in my life was one of the real expensive conditioners i don't even remember what it's called this was like many years ago i mean it cost it maybe 27 or 36 dollars i really don't remember but it was more expensive than what i usually pay for a conditioner and I felt that it was just mediocre at best. And so I never tried Diva Curl products after that. The only reason why I am giving them a shot right now is because they came out with a fragrance-free line. And for those of you who follow me know that I have switched to completely fragrance-free. And so that kind of, um, knowing that they have a fragrance-free option kind of just caught my eye. And they'll say it's dermatology tested, you know, whatever. All that because I have super sensitive skin and I have allergies and I'm like just sensitive and allergic to everything it seems like. And so that kind of caught my eye and that's why I wanted to give these products a try. Um, I know people were mad at Diva Curl maybe like a couple years back or whatever because it was making people's hair fall out. From what I'm understanding I was kind of out of the natural hair loop at that time. But I think they've improved like all their formulas now and so it should be okay. So right now what I have in my hair already is the... Um, one condition original conditioner and i my hair was not as much as a hot mess as it was in my previous video i didn't neglect it or anything like that but it needed to be detangled and so i applied the conditioner actually while i was in the shower and i just finger detangled my hair at that time i've let it sit it's probably been like 30 to 45 minutes now i didn't sit on the dryer but just doing stuff with um the plastic cap on my head and so right now i'm going to take this off and i just want to see how conditioned my hair really is. And so right now as I'm unraveling this twist, I can see that my hair is definitely super soft and super moisturized. It says that this conditioner is, of course, is hypoallergenic. It says rich, clean conditioner is formulated for those with sensitivities to fragrance, essential oils, dyes, and gluten. I'm not sensitive to gluten, but all the other stuff, yes. The moisture preserving blend helps fight tangles, control frizz, and leave dry, medium, coarse curls feeling nourished, soft, and bouncy. So right now, um, the way my hair feels, I would say this is actually a pretty good conditioner. But you never really know, um, well I don't know from my hair anyway, until I get finished styling it and until it dries. To see if it still feels kind of soft because some any you know a lot of things make your hair feel good while your hair is like wet you know and it's sat in there or whatever but once you rinse it out that's what i want to see what happens after that so i only finger detangled my hair like i think i said before so right now i'm going to detangle this section or oh, i will say when, while i was a finger detangling it the slip was pretty good actually this actually feels pretty good it's my hair is really easy to detangle and so that I mean that was pretty quick especially for my hair that piece is now done so I'm gonna finish um detangling the rest of my hair and then i'm gonna rinse this out and then i will come back and finish the styling okay so i rinsed the conditioner out and well first before i rinsed the conditioner out i detangled my whole head with my detangling brush and i must say it was 
easy. It was super easy. So I will say that is a good, it's, it's an excellent detangling conditioner. My hair still feels moisturized right now, but I won't say this is like the most moisturizing conditioner that I ever used. Um, it's, I think it still could be better. Like right here, it feels a little dry to me, but my hair is like a challenge for conditioners because my hair is just super dry. No, like no matter what, it's been dry my whole life. My skin's dry. Everything about me is just dry. So, I mean, this might work really well for somebody else, but right now I'm kind of on the fence still with the conditioner. For detangling, it's great. I don't know how well it did um, for moisturization yet. So what I'll be using now is um, the Super Cream and it says Rich Coconut Infused Definer. And this, according to them, is supposed to define your curls. I already know that creams don't define my curls. They just never have. I know that's just not gonna happen. For my hair, only gel and only curl activator defines my curls um, for the most part. It says this Hydra, Hydra, this, this writing is small. I know I'm getting old, but dang, this writing is small. I don't feel like getting my glasses though. The Hydra Definition Blend provides coarse cor curls with <laughs> smoothness, shape, shine, and frizz control. So, I mean, it's coconut infused and all the good things that it said, you know, it's what I want a styler to do so it sounds good. I'm actually not, <laughs> I kind of made like a decision just now. I'm not going to do a wash and go because my hair just really suffered a couple of weeks ago. And so I don't want to do any kind of style that's going to make my hair um, harder to detangle. Um, and a wash and go, unfortunately, makes my hair harder to detangle. So I'm going to be doing my standby, as always, my go-to style, which is a twist out. It's still, if this can define curls, in my opinion, if this can do all what they said it could for curls... For like a wash and go style then it should be excellent for a twist out so i'm gonna give this a shot and it did say i didn't read that part though but it says to apply to soaking wet hair and so also i'm thinking like a lot of these products they want you well they recommend um kind of that you do your hair in the shower because that's kind of really i mean you can get it soaking wet by spraying it like i'm doing right now but it's not as soaking wet as it would be in the shower so you know who knows what the results are going to be and so it has a pump like this so i'm squirting some out make sure it's fragrance free i always do that i don't know why i got this much out to start and this um if you're looking for some kind of heavy cream for natural hair curlier kinky hair this is not it i can tell you that right now this is not like buttery or anything like that it's just like a styling cream which is what they said. I'm just taking a chance on this just to try something new and just because it's fragrance free. So I have more options. Okay, so you guys can see, I don't, I'm not going to zoom in, but you can see that my curls are defined with this. But since I know my hair so well, I know that when it looks like this, that's not going to stay for me. What I would end up if I were to just use this for wash and go. And, you know, let my hair air dry or send it to the dryer or diffuse it or something. My hair would just be a big fluffy fro, which is nothing wrong with that. Is If that's the kind of look you like and if that's what you're trying to achieve. But for me, when I want, when I do wash and goes, I like my hair to be more laid down and slick and sleek and shiny. I don't like the fluff. I actually... I don't one thing my hair doesn't need to be more fluffy than what it already will be just naturally and secondly I just don't like my hair that big like that you know so this is what it looks like right here um, just a normal twist out and I may use um, I may use the um, can't even I may use the gel for my edges if anything but i will not be doing a wash and go obviously okay this is without water i say follow their instructions and do it on soaking wet hair because seem like it, without water it's just like nothing which is not necessarily a bad thing a lot of products are like that no big deal
So yeah, it defines the curls a little bit, but I can tell already that's not gonna last. So I'm gonna twist this up. So I'm gonna finish twisting my, applying the product and twisting my hair. Then I will dry it. I will more than likely sit, and yeah, it's too hot to sit on dry. I think this time I'll actually let it air dry, although I really don't like to do that. Um, I'll probably go outside or something just so it'll dry faster. And then I'll come back. It'll more than likely be still tomorrow because I don't want to film at night. And then I will show you guys what the results are. Okay, so it's the next day. My hair is completely dry. <laughs> my hair is like dry, dry because I literally <laughs> almost forgot to film the second part of this video because I was just involved in a whole bunch of other things. But anyway, um, I didn't sit in the dryer at all. It's too hot. You know, to me, I would have just, it would have been counterproductive because I probably would have been sweating under the dryer. So I just let it air dry. But um, I do want to say just with my hair still in the twist that my hair actually feels really soft, which is surprising to me. I did also want to tell you guys, I, I had the ultra defining gel and I said I wasn't going to put it on my hair. Um, I put a little bit on the edges. You can see it doesn't really slick your hair down. So um, if you're looking for something to slick your hair, it probably would do good. Like if you're really like a, in a ponytail where you're really brushing your hair or some kind of style where you're brushing your hair back. But just like if I use edge control right here, it would really slick it down. But this just doesn't do it. So that's just a word of caution um, if you're looking for something to slick your edges down. Um, but anyway, so now I'm going to unravel the twist. And I did. I've said in other videos that I trim my hair a lot. Like I trim will dust a little bit probably like every week. And I've been doing it more since I had kind of a semi setback. And who knows? You may see an upcoming kind of video. I might actually cut the majority of my hair off because I'm just it's very fragile from having all the color and dye and everything and so it's just really hard to manage right now and I'm, I don't really have a problem growing my hair back out and while I'm working um, remotely and stuff it really doesn't matter what I really look like because I don't like my hair short <laughs> so but it really doesn't matter what I look like because nobody really has to see me if I go somewhere I could just attach a ponytail to my hair or something like that um, but that's just a thought of something that I might be doing. I, and I might not. I keep like talking myself out of it. But then just um, knowing how easy it would be to take care of my hair and grow it out like super healthy without doing some of the damaging things that I've done in the past. It just kind of sometimes seems like the better route to take. And I'm also not the one that means that every time your hair gets kind of damaged that you have to cut it off. As you can see, my hair is kind of damaged on the ends but I rather just trim till it it's all gone but some people won't choose to just big chop and that's you know a good option too so this is what my twist out looks like as you see it's like super super bouncy and to be completely honest I just bought this kind of these products kind of on a whim and it really the only thing that attracted me I never had a desire to use diva curl ever again after that one conditioner that I bought but what attracted me to it was that they had something that was fragrance free so I was like okay yeah I'm gonna give it a try and actually <laughs> for a twist out I actually think it's a pretty good product there's one thing that um as far as the super cream it did moisturize my hair if you like that butter kind of greasy feel this is not that but it it, it does make your hair soft also, another thing, I'm not sure about this because, sorry, I have my window open and there's just cars <laughs> going by and stuff, whatever. But um, I don't think this would be a good product to reapply to your hair through the week. I think that this is only good to use like on wash day because it has a little bit of hold in it. But that's just my personal opinion. Um, probably what I would do like in the middle of the week if I need to retwist my hair I probably would just put some oil in like one of the um, buttery like type creams that don't have like any kind of hold or something in them and then just retwist my hair but I really like the way it looks also for those of you who don't like a greasy look I know a lot of people are so scared of greasy hair I actually like my hair like really shiny and semi greasy but I know a lot of people don't this does not give you a greasy look or feel but yet it doesn't look dry. It actually looks moisturized. I just can't. It's like super bouncy. I can't believe it. Like really, I wasn't. I didn't have high hopes for this product. But I was like thinking this could be a go-to just because it was fragrance free. But it's actually pretty good. And so as you guys know who have been following me for a while. I do not fluff my hair a lot because 
when I don't fluff it, um, it lasts longer. <laughs> the twist out lasts longer for one without me having to redo it. And then two, I think my hair is just big enough without adding any fluff to it. So I'm not going to do anything. So my thoughts on the products, the, what did I start with? The one condition, um, original. I actually like this conditioner. It's not, if your hair is like super, super damaged, I don't think this is going to fix anything or do anything for that. And I don't think, I didn't really read all the ingredients, but I don't think it has like any protein or anything in it for strength. It's just like strictly more of a moisturizing conditioner, but it's a good conditioner. So I think I will, this one is a keeper. I actually can't remember what I paid for this, but I'm starting to get to the point where I don't care what it costs as long as I like it. And with fragrance free, I'm so limited that I just have to do what I have to do. So yeah, this, I actually really like this conditioner. I'm gonna use it again. I'm gonna keep it and I'm probably gonna buy it again. And then the next product, as I just described, was a super cream. I really like what it did for this twist out. One day I might try it on a wash and go just to see. And I also might try um, the defining gel for a wash and go as well. But this, I'm kind of on the fence for that because I know I would have to use a lot and their Diva Curl products are too expensive to be using a lot. I would just, most time for wash and goes, I like to stick to Echo Gel and um, Curl Activator. Yeah, so overall, I don't know if Diva Curl is still canceled or not to other people, but I actually like the products. I didn't experience any hair loss or anything like that. And hopefully I'm not going to in the future. So again, um, like I always say, if you like this video, thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe and also click on the notification button so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And also again, as I always say, if you know of any fragrance-free hair products, especially ones that are made for curly, kinky, black hair or whatever, um, drop those in the comments. And I will see you in the next video.